Well, hello and welcome to Jimodism Total Nourishal. It was some time ago I last showed you a From the Depths build. And well, I haven't been building so frequently recently, but I will get back to it. Because of course, I still want to finish the campaign, uh, the campaigns, if I'm going to be quite exact. And the reason for this, uh, you know, uh, not being building too much is, as you can kind of imagine, uh, on the ongoing tournaments fault. We have an ongoing tournament, as you probably noticed, every Saturday there is a new video out. But I've put together a nice little uh, vehicle. So I basically tried to make the best jet fighter I could make. Uh, for a not too expensive price. So I tried to Well, I tried my best and make a jet fighter with a custom control box So meet the GI Aroebix Aroebix Yes, it has this nice custom control surfaces. It looks a little bit like a swallow or something like that But it's uh, a nice little jet fighter and I really tried to make this pretty crammed, as you can see here. Uh, and we can probably cycle through some different blocks here. So here you can see we have the jet engine pretty flush in there. Uh, and we have some basic detection and basic repair. So we have a wireless snooper, a... Yeah, one of these. I don't even exactly know exactly how this works, but yeah. We have a laser tracker here. I thought that we actually had a camera here, but maybe I decided to not go for the camera because it doesn't really matter anyway. But well, there we are. Here we have it. Uh, it's a uh, asset. It's uh, not more complex than necessary, and I try to kind of keep it a little bit less, you know, complex. Uh, we had some detection problems, so I decided to just have one of these and a little wireless snooper to kind of detect the targets. Uh, and of course, it doesn't matter very much that we can't detect the targets very well because we are relying on missiles. And I try to design a missile that will always hit and always kill most air targets. So this is a mostly anti-air vessel. We have a variable thruster, uh, which is max speed, so it can kind of reach the quicker aircrafts. Has a good couple of fins. We have prediction guidance to help it hit the target. We have one turn crucial to get a nice, uh, well, to get a nice first angle. Then we have APN guidance to, God, I don't remember what APN stands for, but we have APN guidance at least. So it will kind of go in circles around the enemy. It has a sticky flare so that it will attract enemy um, missiles. We have a signal processor. Uh, to filter out decoys, a couple of regulators, fuel tanks, AMP, and explosive warheads. Then we have a little bit more fins in the front. <laughs> because fins has to be as farther back as possible, or as farther uh, in front as possible. So, uh, a, like a signal processor is crucial when you're making a ship that's only relied on... Uh, missiles like this, because if your missiles fail, you will basically die. And we have some basic ammunition and uh, storage there. So hopefully it doesn't, you know, go out of storage very quickly, and anyways. So I want to showcase the Aroibix a little bit to you. So we are going to go into the Steel Striders, and there is actually the Hake. I think people asked me to try stuff against the Hake. So let's spawn a Hake and let's spawn a Ganet and let's spawn a Lynx. I don't know which one of them <coughs> I wanted to spawn, sorry. Uh, so let's just spawn all of them and see if we die, basically. Alright, so I think you'll get 
a little bit uh, motion sick, a little bit maybe flying with this thing here, because this thing is, as you can see, pretty... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <clears throat> it's usually pretty uh, agile, um, but as you probably know, the performance of from the depth crafts depends a little bit on what uh, computer you're on. Um, this worked fine on my laptop, I promise, but uh, I'm now recording it on my you know, normal computer. Um, yeah, well, let's spawn a new one then. So you can kind of see here, we can see these ones trying to track the target. Now we get completely lost if there is any, but they usually track like, you can see there, we EMP'd this aircraft straight out of the sky. It was like very um, susceptible to EMP. So it just disintegrated, beautiful. Now the aerobics is a little bit quick, so of course it's somewhat difficult to actually follow it in uh, in the air. Actually, you know what we should do. Now, when I did this last time, I will be honest with you, it made it uh, like oh no, okay, it made it maneuver worse than before. Cool. Now we're having our avatar inside this thing. And we get a slightly more smooth uh, <laughs> following camera. And missiles are launched. We do some very hefty turns. And the missiles are closing in on the target. And of course, these missiles are maxed because they have to be. And you can see it absolutely disintegrate the enemy with the EMP. And now I know that a lot of other people have succeeded to make much faster crafts than uh, this one. But uh, this is the fastest um, and most efficient jet I have made so far. It's I think it's much, but it's only 102 meters per second. I think that's pretty quick, but of course, um, some more professional builders make them even quicker. Um, but I must say that it completely outmaneuvers uh, steel strider planes, uh, considering the cost, I believe. Let's see here. These steel striders cost 18,026.14. Was that right? Yep, and the Aroebix costs 6,000. So it absolutely outperforms the Steel Strider planes uh, considering the cost of this thing. So personally, I think that this aircraft, the g Industries Aroebix, is a huge success for me. It's, um, yeah, it's the best, like, performance aircraft I made. I tried to make it look cool. Uh, I have of course have the unicorn horns signature of Geomodism Industries on in front of the missiles. And yeah, that's basically that. Let's spawn a couple of these now again. We'll just spawn all of them so I'll never le learn. And there we can see if we can get some missiles actually coming in there. Oh god. Oh no, what are we doing? Oh, are we actually hit? Yep. We actually got hit. And sometimes it manages to get... Most often it manages to get out of the ground pretty quickly. So I didn't bother to uh, add a uh, start. Oh, that's some fireworks. I didn't bother to add a water start algorithm because we're so cramped in space and it kind of floats pretty well anyways i think maybe the steel striders planes might be slightly faster but our maneuverability is definitely superior 
and our missiles uh, outrun them anyways. So they basically don't have a chance. Look at that. EMP'd out of the sky, going down. Yes, beautiful. And yeah, well, supposedly I have to do some tweaks uh, before I use them in the campaign uh, on my stationary computer because, uh, well, <laughs> it doesn't work as well on my stationary computer for some reason. It's weird. Really weird. It would be really nice if uh, from the depth were a little bit more consistent on performance between different platforms because, you know, it's like in the tournament, like participant has like surprised of the their um, vehicles bad performances, and it's like they like say that they used months to perfect it, and it still uh, doesn't like uh, well behave as expected, and that's you know from the depth. In a nutshell. All right. Oh no, we missed. Well, anyways. They'll go around uh, some rounds there, but we'll eventually probably get it um, because, well, we're so agile that it's very rare that anything hits us so far, and we're pretty quick too, so that's nice. And there we go. Fantastic. Win for the Aerobix. Well, anyways, hope you enjoyed this little showcase, and if you did, uh, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. And I'll be back in the future with more videos, and of course, I'm going to get back and make some more tutorials for you. Anyways, this is Jimodism, signing out.